create stunning 3D Polaroid frames like this in Canva. So let's start with it. So first I will choose a Polaroid frame. So this is the keyword, simple keyword which I am using. I am going to graphics, click on see all. Just use the first one which is coming up here. Make it bigger. Okay. And after that click on share. Click on download. So I will also share a problem which you might face while downloading. Which is that if you click on download after using the only one element. So your download will fail. So as you can see the uh, design download is failing. So to solve this you need to just duplicate it and use it just as much far as you can so that it is not visible and is not harming your design. Just click on share, click on download and this time make sure it is in transparent background and click on download. And as you can see your design is downloaded now. So this is the quick hack which you can do to download the Canva elements. And now you will go to apps here. Just write transform here. Now here select reshape and click on open. So I will use the perspective one. So I will just re-upload the image which I want to make the reshape. So I will select perspective here and from the points I will just select the points and make it adjust it. And now the adjustment is done. Click on save. Okay. So our design is ready for the main Polaroid frame. And now just crop out the parts which are not required. Okay. And just make it bigger. Okay, now you need to just scroll up to find the elements again. Here as you can see, I have already selected a image for this transformation loop and I will just flip it so that it looks better with this polar frame and I will just crop out the parts which are not required. Just make it smaller and just crop out till the frame. Okay, so this cropping is done. Let's crop this part so that we can keep the image here and let's uh, crop out here a bit. And the adjustment is done. After that, let's duplicate it. So the duplication is done. Now I will select this layer and just go to layers. Click on send backward so that it goes behind the Polaroid frame. And after that use the shape here and just tilt it a bit. Let's see if it is working with this tilt or not. So I have to tilt a little bit. So like this and just cover it and with the same white color okay and 
click on layer and send to backward so the image as you can see it is covered now and now for this image i will click on bg remover and i will just bring it here and adjust it accordingly so the image is adjusted and i will just crop out till here and the image is ready but one problem you might be facing which is if you download it you can't change the background that is as it is a white background so to if you want to change the background you have to do one more step and for that you need to add a shadow so i will add a shadow here and this one i will be using the second one and just tilt it according to our requirement so let's just see so one angle so seven looks good and now we, we need to shape it and bring it down so that it looks good with the image and just click on layer show layers just bring it down the frame okay so our design is ready but if you want to just so so the shadow here is ready but as you can see it is not quite visible so i will just duplicate it and another time okay and select it one by one and put it in the same layer so now the adjustment is done here bringing the parts now i will just select all of them and group them and make them smaller so that i can keep the shadow till our requirement here okay so our design is now ready and now let's click on share click on download and make sure it is in png and click on download now now add page and just reupload the image which i just created just unzoom it so that i can put it in the whole of the canvas let's middle it and after that as you can see when i just click on bg remover it removes the background and after that just crop out and use any type of background let's use this one so as you can see you can just change the background to any level you want okay so hope you like this tutorial and hope you learned something out of it so the shadow is mainly for the covering of the parts which is required here uh, without that the background remover is slightly tough to make but if you want that uh, the shadows to be visible again so you can just right click it from the before work and just select this copy it and paste it here bring it down and just place it right here okay so our design is ready now hope you like this tutorial and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thank you